Pushing their anti energy agenda. Stop quoting the same podcasts. Joke all you want. They hope a few isolated cases of some exotic virus are going to scare us into giving up our freedoms. I don't think they would have issued a stay at home order unless there was a serious threat. Don't think about faraway problems in airports and cruise ships. Think instead about dry, nutritious fruits and vegetables. Cut through stress collegiately with. Safety scissors. Do we have all of our materials? Uh, Chris was going to pick up poster board on the way home, um, but I can see if he can add that to the list if it's not too late. Oh, we might have to do without. I'm pretty sure they closed all the craft stores. You underestimate the power of private businesses. Most stores will still be open. Hey, Ruby. There was an attack on campus today. What? Some guy just went berserk on the green. He started coming at people. A lot of people were taken to the hospital. So was it a shooting, or...? No, it, it was a stabbing. That's what I heard. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Um, I take it you didn't get the poster board. I know, but I can't afford to fail this. So until the school formally announces that it's closing, I'm going to go forward as if this project is still due tomorrow. Oh, man, there was another stabbing today at the mall. Which mall? I want to look that up. Uh, DuPont. God, what the hell is happening? <sighs> okay, so... They seem unrelated. This says someone physically assaulted someone else at the mall. Unprovoked. Probably a mugging. And was shot by mall police. At the hospital, the mugger tested positive for the virus. So the lockdown is probably a cautious step to protect themselves from liability from the lockdown and from someone being sick. If they're unrelated, and this is about the mall's liability, why is the whole county in lockdown? Two attacks and one of them is sick? That's some wild coincidence. But not a reason not to go out if there's something we need. Maybe we should shelter in place like the lockdown says. Don't let the government scare you. Lockdowns are a fascist attempt to restrict your freedom to come and go as you choose. There's no evidence that either these attacks or the so-called virus pose any immediate threat to us. CDC update. Avoid persons exhibiting flu-like symptoms and abnormal out-of-character behavior. What constitutes as abnormal? <laughs> Great. Now they want us to conflate unrelated qualities so you can be suspicious of anyone. <laughs> Beware the sniffles and people who are in a bad mood. This is an open gateway for arbitrary profiling. Why wouldn't you avoid somebody with flu-like symptoms? Because without the other symptoms you think it's just the flu. We shouldn't let this get to us. We've got a project to work on. Look, I drew a loaf of bread. Great. Coach Rusnick will be thrilled. The campus attacker tested positive for the virus. Now they're testing everyone who was even near the attack, and it wasn't a stabbing. He assaulted them with his bare hands. Tackling and clawing, he bit someone. Okay, that sounds like bat salts. I don't know, this, this could be serious. Could be zombies. <laughs> 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 okay, wow. Not funny, insanely inappropriate. I don't even want to think about that. 
Well, you wouldn't think about it when they eat your brains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bruce Campbell. I'm the Walking Dead. <laughs> um. So, people on social media are talking about lockdowns all over the country. Oh, and the CDC is now advising facial coverings in case you become infected. I see that too. And it looks like a string of unrelated assaults are being linked in order to further dramatize the virus. I guess, but how's the response so fast? Maybe it's all staged. Or maybe they know more than they're telling us. Like what? Like, what if it is zombies? You've got to be kidding me. I'm not. I want to talk it out. <laughs> this is exactly what happens when we talk about things like this. We turn stray cats into jump scares. Well, we know how the virus passes through saliva. The uh, CDC has said so already, and from countries with high infection rates, we're hearing about spikes in mob violence, which is admittedly pretty vague. Those countries deal with riots all the time. You know this is purely circumstantial. Is it? If we're experiencing that here? Are we? Aren't we? Still the cats, y'all. We know. But also, we'll be fine without the poster board. <laughs> you only feel that way because you creeped each other out. You don't even know there's any danger. I mean, the news says we should stay indoors. And our pantry has plenty of ramen. Uh, I like ramen. There is nothing rational about a lockdown. How long do you think this is going to last? Until there's a cure? Until there aren't any cases? People who lose their jobs. Like, seriously, none of y'all are even the slightest bit suspicious? Or are you that ready to hand over your rights to the government? You are very protective of your personal freedoms. I've been given no reason not to be. Have you, or do you choose not to see them? 35 attacks today, nationwide. And they all include Biden. In a country with 50 states and 300 million people. And 70,000 confirmed cases. According to who? NPR! to Reuters and the Associated Press, just today. I will not be scared out of living my day-to-day -day life. Taylor and I will go out if you're such a coward. You will? And we will be fine. You can't just volunteer someone to march out into what we might think is a zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse? Okay, assuming the two of y'all aren't crazy, we've heard of how many zombies out of how many confirmed cases? I mean, this isn't even an effective outbreak. Small numbers turn into big numbers when they're not taken seriously. It's called exponential growth. I always knew you were paranoid, Chris. But I didn't think you were delusional. Hey, y'all, we don't need to be rude. I'm not being rude. I'm talking sense. You shouldn't live your life making decisions out of fear. You can, and you should, lady. Fear is not a flaw. <laughs> Fear is a natural and evolutionary advantage. All right, we have, we acknowledge threats, whether likely or unlikely, and we determine if the best course of action is to attack it, to ignore it, or to run away. But acknowledging fear does not make you fearful. I'm happy to see that the two of y'all have completely bought into this nonsense. It would be nonsense to ignore the possibility. I'm not ignoring it. I'm just not as high as you two currently are on Elmer's glue and Romero nostalgia. There are a lot of people online taking this seriously, honey. And I'm sorry, but we're not the only ones using the word zombie. Who cares what they're saying on social media? <laughs> Those are not cats. We haven't heard of cats in a minute. I don't think they're out there. 
I'm not going to listen to this anymore. You cannot go outside. You can't expect her to listen. It isn't safe. I have the right to take my own risks. No, screw your risks, honey. This isn't safe for other people. If this is a zombie outbreak, do you understand how that works? Then it's no longer a matter of you or me or him getting sick or even dying. Because if we become zombies, we'd go on to hurt someone else. If it's even a zombie outbreak. Y'all are entertaining this theory way too quickly. What are you more afraid of becoming? A zombie to brains or to public opinion? Brains. Definitely brains. Going against the concerns of the group doesn't make you an independent thinker. Maybe not, but it is my right as a free American, and I refuse to listen to this anymore. What are you going to do, honey? I'm going to go and get the materials that we need, and maybe some pizza, and I'll come back when everything has calmed down. And then we'll finish the project, and tomorrow, everything will be back to normal. What if you're wrong? I'm not. I'll be right back.